everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbell Benders. Today, I want to teach you how to start tracking your macros. Okay. So, I left this space right here, this magical space open for all the numbers. Basically, I want to make it easier for you guys to understand what I'm saying. Alright, so, when you track your macros, the first thing that you should know is there are, or as I do it, there are three levels and these three levels are how active are you as a person. So, level one, we're going to give that level a 12 value. Level one, you are not active. You sit on the couch all day, yeah, you might walk to the store, whatever. Level two, we're going to give that a value of 13. That means that you work out maybe three times a week. Um, you're pretty active. You know, you're not sitting on the couch a lot, but you work out three times a week, do some cardio. Um, and then the last level, very active, maybe active job, or if you're like me, you're in the gym six days a week. We're going to have that a value of 14. So, first, select your value. Did you get it? All right, good. Now, one thing that you should have handy when you do this is writing a utensil, a calculator, or in this case a phone, which I'm going to use the calculator on. There we go. A calculator. And something to write it down in. Okay, so now that you have your number, get your number. This is not a magic trick. Now that you have your number, now you have to know your body weight. So, we're going to use myself as an example. I want you to use your own self as an example because the best way to understand it and learn it is to use your numbers. So, take your body weight. Now, I am a very slim 225 off season. That's pretty slim. I know. Stop. No, no, seriously. We're just friends. I'm married. So, 225 is my current body weight. Now, remember your number? It was either 12, 13, or 14. Okay? You want to take your body weight and you want to multiply that by your number. So, for me, I'm going to use 14. Right? Because I work out six days a week. So, 225 times 14. It's going to give me 3150. Okay? So, we write that down. We got 3150. I'm going to put that in my little journal here, right? My little composition book. Okay, cool. 3150 equals the amount of calories you need. Or actually, sorry. Let me phrase that. Whatever you wrote down, that big number that you just wrote down, is the amount of calories that your body needs to maintain your current state. So, for me, for me to maintain my, my slim, just amazing 225, I have to consume 3,150 calories a day. Okay? Easy enough. Now, if you want to gain weight or bulk, I think it's safe to say that you could add 150 to eh, maybe 500, depending on what you want to do. Personally, I'm using about 150 right now. Um, actually, I'm using like 250 right now, and I'm calling it a clean bulk. Sorry, clean bulk, okay? Now, if you want to lose weight, subtract. I would say it's safe to subtract around 250 to 500 calories a day. So, whatever your goal is, figure it out. Okay? Now you're going to, again, bulking. You're going to add between 150 to 500 calories per day. You want to slim down. You're going to subtract between 150 to 500 calories a day. Okay. Now time for the uh, Matt Damon's uh, genius mind math here. Okay? So now that you have your number, right? So for me, I'm going to do a clean bulk. I'm going to use 250 for this, okay? So I'm going to take 3150 
I'm going to add my 250 calories, right? And that gives me a total, a new total, of 3,400 calories. So, I want to bulk. I want to do a clean bulk. I save 500 calorie ads for about winter time or when I just feel like bulking all year and getting a 225. So, 3,400 calories is my new total. What's your total? Good. Glad you got it. Okay. Now it's time for us to find out what exactly we need to consume as far as the most important parts. So we know daily now how many calories we need. Now we have to break it down. Okay? So, here's how you break it down. There are three items other than calories that you need to understand. First item, the most important item, protein. Okay? You're going to get your protein from your lean meats, um, other sources, fish, chicken, turkey, whatever. So first item, protein. Okay? Now, in order to find out how much protein you need in a day, there's a formula for this. Now, Again, if you want to be on the leaner side, you can use, or actually let me rephrase this, for finding your protein source or how many grams of protein that you need, you can use a number between 0.85 and 1. For me and my goal, I use 1. So I'm going to take my weight, so protein equals weight times, for me, 1, for you it could be 0.85. Whatever, what are you using? Did you write it down? Okay. So, I need 225 grams of protein per day. Okay? Again, different goals. So, 225. Now, we're going to start off and we're going to figure out how many calories that actually equals. Okay? Because that's going to be important later on. So, in order to find out how many calories that equals, we're going to take 225, and we're going to multiply that by 4. 225 times 4, and it gives us 900 calories. So that means that 900 of our calories comes from protein. The next important factor is fat. That dirty word dirty. Okay. In order to find our fat, we're going to take our new calorie number. So for me, it was 3,400. 3,400. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.25 or 25%. Thirty-four hundred times 0.25 equals 850. So, now, that just means that you find out how many calories will come from fat. So, we have to convert that into grams so we know how many grams of fat we need a day. In order to do that, you're going to take that number that you just wrote down by, by multiplying by 0.25 and you're going to divide by 9 okay for me I come up with 94 grams so in a day I need 94 pardon me grams of fat okay now there's two things that you need to know right now there's more but there's two things so we know how many calories are from protein and how many calories right so hopefully it looks something like this for you right so I circled my calories right so I have my 3400 and then I have my 900 and my other my uh, 850 okay in order to figure out carbs we're gonna take our number our new cal our new caloric number so for me 3400 
I'm going to subtract my calories from protein, which is 900. Okay. Then I'm also going to take off my calories from fat, which is 850. And that gives me my remaining calories. So, my remaining calories, 1650. So, I'm going to write carbs. Okay? So, we have carbs now. Now, we have 1650 calories remaining that we need to figure out how many carbs or how many grams of carbs we can consume daily. So, I'm going to take that number and I'm going to divide that number by four, okay? Divide that by four. That means 400 and call it 13 grams of carbs. Okay, so now let's take all our numbers. We have, well actually you have something different than me because, so my day. My day means that I can eat 3,400 calories it means that when I'm making my meals I'm going to look for protein in 225 grams I'm going to look for fat in 94 grams I'm going to look for carbs in 413 grams. Okay. There we go. So, pretty easy, right? So now you understand how to figure out what you need on a daily basis, how many grams you need of everything of the important items on here, right? Now you can tweak it. Actually, you should tweak this. So you have to figure out what your body, what works best for your body, okay? This was working for me, because now it actually allows me, because of my workouts and how they are, it actually allows me to also cut. So I'm doing a lean, call it like a lean bulk. But it allows me to cut at the same time. So I'm losing fat, but I'm also gaining muscle because of the amount of protein I'm taking in. Now if I wanted to see any different changes. I could always subtract the calories. I could always I could always cut the carbs. Um, I could cut the protein. So there's many things that you can tweak here. Just remember that you have three levels. Find your level. Multiply your weight by your level. That gives you your maintenance calories. Now your goal, you're either going to add calories or subtract calories. Then you need to find your protein in grams, your fat in grams, and your carbs in grams. So the equations one more time. To find your protein, you take your body weight, multiply it, either by 0.85 up to 1. That's how many grams of protein, protein you need in a day. To find your fat, you're going to take the amount of calories, your new number of calories, and you're going to multiply that by 0.25. Once you get that number, that is actually your calorie number. So you need to divide that number by 9. The reason that you're using these other numbers, 4, 9, and 4, is because that's how many grams or how many calories are in that. So if that makes any sense, or I probably said it wrong, but okay. Last and final one, you're going, to take, you're going to take your number, again, your new number, after you either added calories or subtracted them, and you're going to subtract your protein calories, your fat calories. You take that remaining number, divide it by four, and that gives you your grams of carbs per day. Okay? So, again, tweak it, mess with it, decide what works for you. Um, this is literally a video to get you started on tracking. Now, when you look at a label, now it'll all make sense. So, what I did when I first started was I began tracking every single meal before I, so I had a fit, I knew what I needed to do in a day, but I wanted to see what I was already doing. 
okay? Which I think is important. So I start tracking every single meal. Now I eat six times, six to seven times a day. So it's a lot of tracking, kind of sucks. But I had a, I just had an ongoing journal, basically the one I'm writing in now. But so ongoing journal of everything that I was eating. Meal one, meal two, meal three, pre-workout, post-workout, everything. Once you see about a week, now for me, I'm pretty simple. I eat salad every day for lunch, get my protein shakes, breakfast, you know, same amount, eggs, everything. I already know what I'm eating. So track what you eat, figure it out. If it's working for you, awesome. Tweak it, decide what you want to do. Um, and just remember that you can always change it down the road. If it's not working, if you're not seeing results quick enough, you can tweak it. Um, if you want to start bulking, tweak it. If you want to start cutting, tweak it. Um, if you notice that you're too tired, maybe up your, up your carbs a little bit. If you And again, the next important part, once you decide what and how and how many grams of everything you're getting, the next important part is really deciding when you should be taking in the different grams of protein, different grams. So in the morning, it's always good to start off with a lot of protein and carbs. Carbs help you wake up. They give you energy. So start your day, get your protein, get your carbs. After, you know, before bed, maybe watch your carbs. After your workout, hit some carbs. So it's all about tweaking and figuring out what works for you. But hope this video helped you better understand uh, macronutrition. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure to hit subscribe over here. I think it's over here. Is it over here? I don't know. Um, make sure to hit subscribe. Throw me a like. Uh, and also, if you have the opportunity, head over to Instagram and check out my Instagram feed, which is at Patrick McGuire Jr. Uh, uh, so that's it. What are you waiting for? Alright, well, I'm not sitting around here, so later.